this is a family sharing by dibesh ji and lekima didi now briefly dibesh ji and lekima didi uh, they are staying in vikam uh, lekima didi she started her exploration in universal human values from october 2020 she is a faculty member of this chartala engineering college um alapura kerala she was she joined in uh, two years later only but uh, both of them are exploring very very nicely and uh, active participation of divesh is there in the in the kerala chapter in many in the national level activities as a co facilitator uh, as an as regional coordinator and many others ekmari is also participating as a volunteer and they have been attending this morning meetings continuously so with this brief introduction i welcome adibashi and ekma didi for their sharing in the morning session how to divesh ji thank you thank you thank you sir bhaiya for that uh, introduction namaste uh, namaste to uh, all good morning sharla didi sunil bhaiya uh, tara bhaiya and all my co explorers here let me start with my small introduction my name is deepesh and is presently residing in kottayam district uh, which is in central part of kerala uh, initial part of my career was in it industry and later i switched to teaching uh, currently i'm not on a full time job and takes the responsibility of the regional coordinator of the southwestern region i stay with my family my legima as uh, told by shilpa bhai works as assistant professor in one of the engineering college at alapura district we have one daughter who is pursuing a third degree third year engineering degree uh, with regards to my family i lost my father when i was 17 years and i lost my mother too in january this year uh, i have three sisters all of them are married and settled regarding my uhv journey i attended the uhv introductory workshop in the month of march 2022 and uh, my wife lekima had attended the workshop before me and she was the reason how i also become part of uhv i have started attending morning session from fifth uh, batch onwards and i should honestly admit that i was not very regular in attending this time uh, it, after uh, introductory workshop i started attending the weekly follow up uh, sessions mostly on sundays and got opportunity to share in to monthly meetings also i have done volunteering in faq and in registration process and i could participate in the role of co facilitator for about five face to face workshops with sunil ji and jayprash ji we had a form a team from kerala in facilitating four introductory workshops which was in bilingual conducted in kerala i should say i was fortunate to have a lot of quality time with uh, sunil bhaiya and also gopal bhaiya also and enrich my content clarity while during the face to face workshops and i could give five demo sessions in the rp development uh, presentation group also and i'm part of the video editing team um, even though it's a very time consuming work it is one of the best ways for uh, deep listening in the content i'm also part of the transcript editing data cleaning project also and i was fortunate to uh, meet ganesh ji sharmila didi uh, rajul ji and lots of other members of uhv family at the pune volunteer meet in january this year i'm also part of the translation work the kerala chapter meetings the swo meetings weekly meetings etc regarding the uh, shift in understanding uh, in the human being the biggest shift in the self i would say is in terms of improving the depth of awareness uh even while interacting with the external world i would be aware of the awareness a sense of underlying peace in the background but that's not always there it's there but when i get carried away by the strong feelings i would get strongly identified with the feelings and i won't be aware of that one other thing probably would be even if i'm carried away i would be able to come back to my awareness soon so uh, decision making evaluation tend to become sharper 
Another shift is that the more the sanskaras are getting purified by the power of observation, thoughts are getting aligned to the natural acceptance. The sense of uh, separate self is getting reduced. The sense of doership is diminishing. A sense that everything is happening on its own and the body mind is just taking part in it, is arising in it. This has to be verified. I'm not very sure if this is a pointer to coexistence. Another important shift is that I was able to see that my imagination either goes to the future or else the past. To the future means some kind of feverishness that I have to do this, then I have to do that, I have to complete this, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. To the past means maybe it could be regrets that I should have done, I should not have done so, maybe I should not have said so, or else it could be like the ego taking credit of what went well, etc. This I was having as information when I was exploring many of the books, but that the mind sways in the past and the future or the future. But recently I was able to see this when I was able to stay in awareness for more time. And I assume that this is what was referred to as now, probably silence, emptiness, nothingness, etc. Going towards nature, my connection with the nature has been deepening as uh, days pass by. The basic understanding is that as far as possible, I should not disturb the harmony already existing in nature. It's true I need physical facilities for my living, but I try to buy or consume things with awareness now. Anything to be taken from nature as a physical facility will be rechecked if it's really needed or not. It could be the vehicle needed for transportation or maybe simply a bucket of water needed for bathing. With respect to existence, I would say I can see a sense of connectedness to all units of existence, mainly the feeling of gratitude to all the units. With respect to human conduct, uh, I have become more silent in the inside. There is not much to be spoken and words emerge only when needed. Not much dependencies towards external things or people. A kind of dispassion. I don't know that may be the right word to use here. Not trying to get good feelings from others. Trying to be in harmony within and interacting with the world outside as and when needed. <clears throat> Participating in the larger order consciously. Internally, I feel I am becoming stronger because much of the insecurity feeling, vulnerability feeling has reduced. And so is the worrying thoughts or suffering created in the imagination. I would say one benchmark we all can follow is to see how much comfortable are we when we are sitting with ourselves without distractions. I mean without any distractions of gadgets, devices, etc. Sitting with oneself there. Now, moving to exercise one and two, observing the self by self. I'm able to observe my imagination many a times when I sit with the purpose of observing. But when interacting with the world, in most instance, instances, I fail to observe and I get identified by my emotional turmoils. But in some instances, I could break the flow of thoughts in between and bring my attention back to it. And there are instances when I could only see it once the reaction has already occurred. But my power of observation has been improving as time passed by. My instances of reaction have reduced and I could transform my reaction pattern with regard to my deep samskaras. But for my deep-rooted samskaras, I get stuck at step seven. I fail to ensure the right feeling of relationship. My understanding about harmony and coexistence doesn't come to my help. And I get carried away by my old patterns of reaction. I'm working on it. I can see that it may take time to be in tune with the natural acceptance. But at least I can see that my program is in the right one. Then this is the way forward. So in the exercise one, I find that either I fail to get into step one itself and get carried away by getting identified with the emotion or else fail in step seven 
while trying to ensure the right feelings based on right understanding and responding. But all along, there is one thing I can see, it all depends on the awareness I have at that moment. Going to the uh, next exercise, observing the body and self by the self. The step one and step two, I'm able to see, but then again, I'm not sure what I see is the right or not. So I need to explore more on this. Steps three and four, I'm able to see. The fifth step, I see as a very important step. The morning I give, the meaning I give to the sensation passes through my filters of preconditioning and hence may or may not be closer to the reality. I need to verify if the understanding which I see now is the right in all situations of that trigger. Sometimes there may be a clearer way of seeing it. So in that sense, it's a lifelong process which has to be done every time. I observe a disturbance within me. That has to be done even when I observe the feeling of excitement with me, me also. Excitement is also naturally acceptable. So at this step, it takes time to move forward. I see that in some external trigger events, I may have to spend many days or months or years to have a clear perspective and able to see it from the right understanding. Changes in the living with respect to right understanding. One of the biggest changes which has happened in me is in with respect to my relationships. If my harmony is dependent on from outside events or from relationship, I may not be able to continue it. So I don't set strong expectations from others or events in life. Even if I feel that I am right, I don't impose it on others. I would like to narrate an incident from my life with regard to this. My daughter, as I mentioned, is doing her engineering and stays in the hostel. Their college doesn't have a college hostel, but she stays, stays in a hostel managed by sisters exclusively for the girls of her college. After her second year, many of her friends would like to shift from this hostel to a PG accommodation because the warden here is little strict about timings. <clears throat> so the prison warden doesn't encourage students coming late, even if there are functions in the college which may happen in night time. My daughter is part of the NSS program also, and there may be programs at times which may extend it till 10 p.m. in the night. So they wanted to shift uh, uh, from the hostel and ask our permission. I went and saw the PG new PG accommodation, which they were thinking of to shift. I saw a few problems with the new place. My evaluation was that it's not good to shift the hostel for this reason. Rather, I suggested you can you and your friends can talk with your warden of the current hostel and settle the problems. But she was insisting on shifting. Initially, I was also insisting her not to shift. But then I discussed with my wife and I changed my decision. We both spoke to her in depth multiple times and about how we see it and that our, that our evaluation is that it's not good to change the hostel. We listed down the positive side and the negative side in detail uh, as we see it. But we gave her the ultimate choice to take the final decision. We told her, as per our current understanding, we see that you may have to face many other problems, even though you think that you are that you would overcome the current problem. But I added that the ultimate decision will be yours. And we want all your life's decision to be taken by you. But definitely we will be there to guide you. And in case if you take a wrong decision also, and fall into a problem, we will be always there to support you, to help you. And added, whatever decisions you take, see if it's in line with your natural acceptance. So since she has done her uh, student's development program also, she is familiar with these terms and uh, vocabulary we have in UHV. And this was the first decision in my life with respect to my daughter, where with the current level of my understanding, I saw that her choice was not right, but still didn't impose our decision on her, interacted with the relationship and gave her the freedom to exercise her choice. Anyway, ultimately, she and her friends finally decided not to shift 
and is continuing in the old hostel itself. Some of the other uh, points I could mention here in this section is the activities had added more awareness to myself and it is reflected in all the dimensions of life like managing the self, the relationship with others, connection to nature, the economics of life, the perspectives of lives, etc. Many perspectives have changed and I can see more choices available and can respond from the available choices rather than react. I moved uh, away from my blaming mode to an outcome mode, focusing on what has to be done rather than who has done it. A feeling of gratitude to everything that life offers, what apparently seems to be bad experience, or is also is something so courted with blessing. In terms of relationship with my wife, we haven't entered into an, an argument in the last maybe one year or so. Difference in opinions will be there always but will, it will no longer move it towards arguments. Sometimes a feeling of opposition will also be there for some time, but doesn't prolong. We were able to maintain a sense of complementarity in our relationship. And the relationship with my wife is more, but my, with my daughter, it's not that cool. She challenges my expectations every now and then. She's maybe considered as a teacher or the one who test and help me validate my reaction response proposal. But even that is reducing as I see it. Actually, gratitude is one feeling I was very connected with, one proposal which was connected with me. And I helped me help, and it has helped me a lot to be in harmony. So I thought now and then that I should make my daughter also aware of this feeling. But even now, it's a still challenging task for me and I have no solution for that now. As I mentioned, when I'm able to stay in awareness more time, my interaction with the rest of the world is becoming more meaningful, which leads to mutual happiness. I'm able to see that when I interact with people with harmony, many things are happening, are turning into positive outcomes in unknown ways. Earlier, when I get to marketing calls or unsolicited calls in my phone, I would get irritated thinking that why these people are disturbing me. But now, even to such calls also, I'm able to respond with a sense of relationship from a sense of understanding that they are also doing a job for meeting their need of physical facility. Maybe he or she is a breadwinner of a family, etc. So there is an instance which I can share, but uh, considering the time factor, uh, and uh, I will skip that. If at all there is a time, I will enter into that. Uh, I'm able to, see the last point is like, I'm able to see the self-regulation part. And as part of it, I take time to do yoga regularly, change the diet accordingly, include meditation in my daily routine, which basically means observing the self, decreasing dependencies on medicines for common ailments, etc. In short, whatever I have observed and understood, if put in one single sentence, I would say I am the awareness. And if I'm able to be that, I am blissful. Moving to my commitments. My present commitment is to have constantly uh, refine my understanding and march towards human excellence. I'm currently involved in various UHP projects, national and regional level. Last week, after the demo sessions in the RP development group, I got approval from Kumar Bhaiya to start take session in online FDP. I do understand that it's a big responsibility and a challenge. With all your blessings, I would be seen taking sessions in the introductory FDP, which I see as my participation in the larger order. I thank each one of the co-explorers here who were in one way or the other helping me in my exploration. When Tara Bhai asked me to share, I was thinking what to share as if I am not able to see anything significant, but Baya keep on insisting me. And when I started writing this, I was wondering, so much of things are happening in me, I can share these things. So thank you, Tara Baya, for that. And I think, thanks, Sharmila Didi, uh, Kumar Baya, Sunil Baya, and all other Kerala chapter team or members also, and all the co-explorers here with whom I work very closely and for their wholehearted effort in guiding me through their committed efforts. Words of gratitude to every other units in existence where we are all in coexistence. Thank you. Namaste. So I will, my wife is sitting next to me. So I will uh, 
uh, request her to do the sharing quickly. Okay. Namaste, Sharmila Didi. Namaste, Sunil Bhaiya. Namaste to all my dear co-explorers. Myself, Legima, uh, working as assistant professor in electronics and communication engineering department at College of Engineering, Ted Chartala, which is situated in Alapura district in Kerala. I have done UHV introductory workshop in October 2020. And during June to August 21, I had actively volunteered in PPI team. I had attended a regional conference at RV College of Engineering, Bangalore in April 22. And I was fortunate enough to meet Sharmila Didi and Omesh Bhaiya. Three days spent with co-explorers was an enriching experience. I attend weekly meetings of Kerala chapter regularly, which keeps me connected to UHV family. I joined for morning sessions from May 16th, 2022. About my family, I lost my father when I was 15 years old. My mother is staying in my hometown, Kano district, which is about uh, 300 kilometer from the place I'm residing. I have a younger brother. He's working as a software engineer and is residing at Chicago with his family. Myself and Deepesh Ji are focused in self-development, helping each other to grow so as to participate in the larger order with right understanding and right feeling. Now I would like to share uh, the shift in my understanding about the following through the sessions. Human being. I understand that human being is a coexistence of two entities, self and body. I am the self and the self takes decisions and body is a tool. Self experiences the external world through the sensory organs. There are, there are many activities going on in the self. If higher activities of self are not activated, you will be taking decisions based on the preconditionings and sensory pleasures and feelings. If I am aware that is able to observe my thoughts, desire and expectation, I can respond based on innate faculty, the natural acceptance. I'll be in a state of harmony and wish to continue in the same state. I have to take care of my body through self-regulation. Now I can see that every incident happening in my life is an opportunity to puri purify my old scars. About nature, I'm able to experience the harmony in the nature Birds, animals, plants, physical order are having a definite conduct. Human conduct is disturbing the harmony in the nature due to ignorance in many ways. My behavior with rest of nature is to be mutually fulfilling. About human conduct, I can see that human conduct is indefinite because of lack of right understanding in the self. But if he lives by right understanding, human conduct can be definite. Now I will share my understanding emerging out of exercise one and two. Exercise one, observing the self by the self. Exercise one is helping me. Going through these steps when I am suffering has improved my confidence to face challenges. I can see my fears and anxiety that pops up for an external trigger. When I am disturbed, I go through these steps to bring back, bring back my harmony, to decide my role in the larger order. The feeling of coexistence and relationship gives me strength to go on. I have to improve my power to observe self by self. There is a large gap between what I am and what I want to be. It's exercise two. I have experience by which I could see that sometimes thoughts in the self affects the body. The thoughts related to lack of my competence in any skill can easily disturb natural harmony in my body. I get headache when I'm engrossed in some problem. When the problem is solved, I see that I cannot sense the painful sensations of headache. Sometimes pain, pain occurs in some part of the body. I observe that. I am reading only the painful sensations, else I am not giving any attention to the sensations from the body. Now I will share the change in my living with this understanding. Now I give higher priority to relationship than physical facility. I have feeling of relationship with whoever, whoever Ever I interact, for example, my colleagues, students or co-passengers or stud students from another college with whom I interact while conducting lab examinations as an external examiner. I'm getting positive response from them also. I'm always willing to help them. Some may need just a smile or just some encouraging, supporting words. 
I'm ensuring the right feelings in myself. So not expecting any expression of feelings from others. So I experience freedom. I'm doing my best to make the courses which I take seem simpler for my students to enjoy learning to and to achieve the desired outcome. UHV is helping me in mentoring role. I'm very much careful in using the words during my communication with students. I can see harmony in my relationship with my near and dear relatives. Commitment, knowing hu a human, universal human values has opened to me the goal of my life. I'm very much grateful to the existence. I'm taking the re lead role in sharing UHV in the student induction program next week. Three days back, I had called a meeting with all the staff advisors of the new batches who are inter interested to participate in sharing the values. I shared my UHV journey and they were motivated and agreed to put efforts to explore the content and share the values with a feeling of relationship as a co-explorer. I am interested to do UHV2 workshops and also find time for volunteering activities. Thank you. So over to Sunibaya. Yeah, thank you, Ligima Didi, and thank you, Dibesh Ji, for this enriching, thoughtful, and very nice, sincere sharing. Because of the time limitation, I request uh, uh, Shamla Didi to give her comments and remarks regarding this family sharing. Shamla Didi, over to you. Yes, very nice, uh, Dibesh Ji and Ligima Ji, to hear both of you. Uh, I think with Dibesh Ji, I have little more communication. Um, in some of the meetings. Uh, Lagima ji, I haven't really been uh, having that much interaction with you, but it is wonderful to be able to hear your combined sharing. And it shows how committed you are to your exploration within and how much of a difference it makes when, you know, both partners are doing the same kind of thing, working on the same goal. And bringing harmony into the relationship, even with your daughter, to be able to have this kind of a um, you know family environment where, rather than imposing, we are proposing things. And like many many a time it happens, you were also able to notice that very often the children take the right decision. It is just that we need to let them free a little bit rather than trying to control them. So all of that uh, is possible because of your own exploration and your being in harmony. That is, uh, of course, very obvious. So um, uh, since there is shortage of time, I won't go into more detail. But I think, uh, Lagi Maji, if you can see in your college, you know, what you can do to make... Uh, a UHV center there and how you can proceed with that, that will be very useful. Since uh, you were able to uh, communicate to the others about the significance and they seem to be interested in human values, it might be a good idea to have like a, you know, a center there, a UHV center where all the students and the faculty can benefit from that and you could be instrumental in that, that would be good. Um, uh, regarding the future journey, of course, all the very best for further exploration and uh, togetherness in the family with this. All the best, both to both of you. Thank you so much, uh, Sharla Didi, uh, for the words. So uh, because of the time constraints, uh, uh, we cannot you know, uh, interact more. but. I thank all the co-explorers here and Shrimla Didi, uh, Sunibaya, uh, Tarabaya, Kumar Baya, everyone here. Thank you so much. Namaste. Thank you, uh, Sharmila Didi. I will do my best, uh, whatever I can, uh, with your guidance. Thank sure. you all. Namaste. Nice. Thank you so much, Dibesh Ji, Ligima Didi, and Devi Prasad Misraji for the uh, sharing in today's morning session.